Okay, so Tree and Serpent, uh, obviously I've just explained to you that we uh, dropped tune to uh, drop B, which is she C sharp standard with the low string drop down to B. Um, I tend to talk in terms of standard tuning, so we'd be rolling on an open A or fifth string to essentially make a, a minor of some description with an added something. So what is that? That's a G in normal tuning. So where would that be on the scale? So it's not actually in there. Is it a melodic minor? I'm not too sure. Hey, I don't know anything about music theory. So it's pretty laid back, sort of bluesy S tune. A couple of big, big power chords in there. And that's it really. Super simple like most of our stuff. Uh, there you go. Cheers. Okie dokie. Right, we're going to have another shot through the riff rundown of Tree and Serpent. Uh, I've just tuned up. We tuned to she, uh, C sharp standard with the low string drop to B. Which essentially is drop B. Uh, so I've tuned up. I've just had a run through on my own with this with the stems from our original recording and it is very different to how we play it live. You get a different sort of feel. Um, uh, I'm going to switch between sounds as I go along. Obviously on the record it's a lot smoother, that studio wizardry, but let's give it a go. Hopefully <clears throat> I can nail it this time. Who knows?
Well, I think I'm going to keep that one. There's a couple of warts in there. If you're wondering why I was laughing, probably twice. One, I did a fart and it was great. And the second of all, my dear cat Smish, that you may or may not be able to see, was desperate to get in and sit and watch me play because uh, she just likes the attention. Unless you give it to her, then she fucks off somewhere. Anyway, I hope that's okay. Uh, and I'll move on to the next one. Cheers. Okay, another riff run through. This one's Afterburner. This is off uh, the first EP or album, whatever you want to call it. Cigarettes. Uh, it's the last song on there. Uh, it's my favourite song on that album. And this one has evolved quite a lot live. So the guitar parts are on the rhythm side. They're very similar, but I've put some new accents in and various other bits and pieces uh, like that. And then... The lead has evolved as well. I don't know if I explained this in the other videos, but the little practice sound behind me is literally just for my own reference. All the sounds you're hearing are going from my Line 6 Doodah home recording thing into some sort of converting thing into the computer job, which the camera is sitting on top of, and I'm recording it as I go along. And I'm going to put all of these things in together into a uh, movie format to chuck across to Dan, and then he can do whatever the fuck he likes with it. So I'm going in again dry, thumbing it in dry, which is what I prefer to do, slug it in um, on this one. So hopefully I will come in in time because it starts with the guitar. Uh, the delays that I've got set up on this Line 6 are slightly different to what I've got on my main live pedal board. Um, I love using delay. I have no idea how to use it. So I've just sort of set sounds and then it just works. Um, as I've learned to use delay, I should say, especially on this line six thing, um, I'm not getting the same results as I do on my live rig, but uh, it will do for the home recording enthusiast, as it were. So I'm going to uh, press record here. I'm going to click it here and hopefully come in on time.
Ah. Well, that's fucking annoying. I'm gonna stop there. Probably edit this up, splice it up, so I don't have to repeat myself. So I'm just gonna press stop. Okay, back again. Uh, I had to do a bit of percolation with the stems that have been sent. They didn't quite start where the thing is, and I haven't worked out what beats per minute they are, but who gives a fuck? Uh, let's give this a go. Oh, let's try that again with the guitar on. Happy days. <laughs> We're going to leave that in. Let's leave that in. Uh, let's do that. Boom. And then that guy back to that measure. Right, okay.
and well there you go now it's certainly interestingly different uh the end of that song i think goes on for or the lead does at least for another half bar or bar so i had to sort of quickly remember that and that was uh fun to do but that song is so visceral live and that last sort of um riff that um or one of the last riffs such a joy to play it's like really love playing that um a lot and then the lead sound at the end that i have on my main pedal board there's a lot of fucking delays going on so i get to use all these weird uh dynamics that sort of come through but yeah really interesting to play and happy about that cheers i'm gonna press stop on here and then say stop on here Badoom.